What's up, folks? Jared from Jay's Way, and I'm coming to you live from beautiful Belize, and I don't think I'll ever get tired of saying that. It's actually a perfectly beautiful day. You unfortunately can't see the ocean behind me, but I really wanted to get this video out to you, so it's going to be a little bit more organic than usual, more in line with some of the niche research ones that I, I normally do. But this one is going to basically tell you how to never run out of design ideas or designs. I've never really followed Tony Robbins or anything, but he definitely hit the nail on the head when he said success leaves clues. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. As it applies to Etsy or even Amazon, success leaving clues means that you can identify trends or patterns based on your successes or the successes of your competition, right? So you want to look at your sales, you want to see what's going right, what's selling, what's being favorited, what's being added to cart. Either way, I'm going to show you how you can figure out what's trending and how you can come up with endless amounts of designs. So here we go. So in this case, I actually wanted to go and dive into something that I thought about when I was printing my own shirts. It's like if I had to do it all over again and I was printing again, what I would probably do is cater to the youth demographic a lot more because the prints are smaller or the white ink that goes on the bottom of the print. It's it's usually white first and then color on top. The white ink is the most expensive ink. So out of like a, a print that might cost six or seven dollars, the white ink is gonna account for you know 80% of that cost. Just typing in kids' birthday. You can see kids' birthday shirt auto populates using Everbee here. You can see by the B, and that's you know, it's got the little thing here that says on. It's a Chrome extension. It tells you that there's a you know that many monthly searches. So I'm just gonna click on this actually since it's auto-populated. And things that auto-populate in the search bar on Etsy are typically what are hot right now. So especially stuff that's in the top three or four. So we're looking at, you know, a birthday girl era. This kind of predates the Taylor Swift stuff, so you should be okay to use it, but it's not legal advice. Definitely do your due diligence, make sure that several of the trademark that have been applied for are not in fact registered in class 25 for shirts if that's what you're doing yeah so we want to look for like stuff like this so birthday girl maddie four but you know let's make it way cooler birthday dude is fun but setting yourself apart, like I've said, for 2024 is going to involve a lot of personalization. So how can we do personalization? We can definitely add it in terms of, you know, adding a name to it, kind of like this. There's all kinds, even just a number with a name. That's all it takes, right? If somebody feels like they've got personal element on that item, they're going to choose yours over an item that isn't personalizable, right? Or customized. So that's a massive win. So I'm going to look for user over Don. You got Lucas. Not feeling that. Kid's dinosaur birthday shirt. And this is because one kid I was talking to who just happened to turn five said that he loves dinosaurs. So what a better way to get ideas for designs is to actually ask the target market, right? What is your coolest animal? What is your most favorite animal ever? You know, I ask a five-year-old, they'll tell you. Like, I'd probably bet 50% of them they'll say, you know, their dog or a dinosaur. So that said, like, look at this. Add your age in the balloon, add your name. This shop has 2.9 thousand reviews. Looks like they're doing some numbers here. Birthday boy. So we got lots of ideas. Rar, I'm five. That's a cool idea. So let's get more specific here and ask for a kid's dinosaur fifth birthday shirt. Absaurus. Ooh, this looks good too. I'm ready to t rex five. That's awesome. So they're combining the dinosaurs and the you know monster trucks, which is probably another massive niche. So I'm going to go over here and go to product analytics. I just want to see what's showing up for the keyword I've typed in here. And if we look sort by monthly revenue, oh yeah. So you got turtles, birthday boy, you know, you don't want to be infringing here, but they're doing $8,000. So we can look at like five. This shirt just has the word five on it with some glitter effect. $6,300 a month. Dinosaur birthday boy. So you got the personalization here. They're doing $1,665 a month. And these are real numbers here for their sales. This is information that Etsy actually discloses. So you can go, you know, follow any shop you want and refresh the page every day to see how many sales they got. Or you can just come and, you know, use a tool like Everbee and see that right away, right? So that to me means that these are numbers that are not to be ignored and if you're stuck for birthday designs you can just ask chat gpt but i've got this gpt here called pod buddy and it's trained in the arts of creating designs specifically for print on demand and i have to give a shout out here to phil anders if you don't know who he is he's been giving a lot of awesome advice on merch and etsy and stuff like that and print on demand and a lot of it is ai centric he does a lot of content showing you tips and tricks on leveraging ai and i think it's going to be a massive game changer for 2024 that said thank you phil i'll link to his channel down below for sure but he mentioned this in one of his videos so i just want to show you and you can see on the side here i've already done some searches but i'm just going to put t rex fifth 
birthday shirt or boys. And this GPT will literally create an image and spit it out with parameters already set. It's trained to create designs that sort of look like like stickers almost, like with white backgrounds. A lot of them are very easy to remove the background on. So you'll see what I mean in a second here. Okay, so we got one that I'm not entirely happy with. I don't want the words on it. And you can see right below it, it even gives you the title and some keywords and even a bit of a description here. So it's pretty incredible. I'm not entirely thrilled with this. I don't want to have the words on it. So I'm just gonna type no words and see what happens. So this is what it came out the second time. So we're kind of getting there, I think. This is still easy to remove from the background. I'm gonna ask it now to just give me the design on a white background. So this one looks cool. I'm gonna ask it for a few more and I'll show you all the ones I came up with. I think we can go with this one because this will be easy to remove the background and we can always customize it with a name later if we wanted to. And so if you like this design, then you can just click on it. And if you're interested in, you know, creating something for future, you can just come here and it shows you the description or what would have been a prompt that you might want to type in in order to get this design. We didn't even need to do that because again, this odd buddy right here is already trained and versed in the arts of creating designs for print on demand. And then I can go into Photoshop and I'll actually drag it and drop it in there, but I wanted to show you guys, this is what my artboard looks like in Illustrator for all my thumbnails. I can zoom in here. You can see different pieces, my niece research, some recent stuff, my ship everywhere video. This is what inspiration looks like to me, right? So when I am doing inspiration, I'll just drag and drop all kinds of images. I'll do a search for a bunch of t-shirts. I'll drag and drop them on here. Any kind of imagery I get, funny memes maybe, I'll drag and drop them onto an artboard like this. And then I'll just start creating, all right? Bits and pieces like that. Drag it all into one kind of cohesive thing. And then I'll save it. As you can see here, this one says thumbnail whip, which is a work in progress. And this file is just an ongoing, you know, working file. But that said, I'm just going to close this, get this out of the way. So Photoshop now is even leveraging AI. So all I have to do is click on here to remove the background and watch this. And now it's given us something without the background. But if you're a little bit old school, I like to kind of adjust myself. So I'll just click on this and you can see the highlight here. And if we just click on the quick mask here, you can see what's included and what's not. And we actually want this stuff gone too. So I can just click out of that. Hold shift, you'll see the little plus show up under my magic wand here. Now it's picking those pixels too. I am just going to expand the selection by about three pixels should do it. And then I'm going to feather it by about three pixels. That just seems to be, you know, what works for me. And then you can just hit delete. And now you've got this kind of, you know, you can see it's on the blank background. And I've saved this now as something that I can remember, like Dino 6 birthday, PNG. But we can go right back in here and keep going with this stuff. So I can go right to the regular chat GPT here. So we can just ask it for more ideas. What did we see before? We saw a monster truck one too, right? And if you caught my previous niche research video, you'll know that Pinterest forecasted that pinks are going to still be pretty big in 2024. We know that's all because of the Barbie movie. However, you know, definitely steer clear of that. But it doesn't mean we can't ask it for a pink, cute monster truck, right? So let's go with cute pink monster truck and see what happens. How cute is that, right? Pretty amazing. Just like that. And it's on a white background, so it'd be easy to delete the background. Gives you a little bit of a, you know, keywords and title. And you can also, you know, make these more Etsy or Amazon set trick. You'll see here, gives us the title, the keywords and description and says, would you like to customize these for Etsy or Merch by Amazon? So if you were to ask, Etsy, it will give you like the 13 tags and it'll make a title that'll fit within the constraints of the character limit, 140 characters for Etsy. And if you did Amazon, for example, it'll give you the bullet point. So I'll say Merch by Amazon. And it says here, based on the guidelines for creating effective Merch by Amazon listings, here are the customized title, keywords, and description for the cute pink monster truck design. Adorable pink monster truck T for kids. Awesome. T is also a legal word in merch. You can't use t-shirt, but T is okay. Vibrant cartoon style. Pink monster truck. These are the keywords that you know you're trying to basically rank for if you can get them into the description somehow. This merch by Amazon listing, we're obviously going to leave out this and you can, you know, edit it yourself. But this listing features an adorable pink monster truck on a tee, perfect for kids. The vibrant cartoon style truck with big friendly eyes is sure to captivate children's imagination. Ideal for everyday wear, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to use all of it. You can use some of it. But the idea is that it's trying to use as many as these relevant keywords as possible in your description. So you can use them in your bullets to a couple different sentences. Or if we were going to say, make it for Etsy. Hey, Etsy's best practices. So you've got your keywords here and you've got 
the title that fits in the characters you can see here playful pink monster truck t-shirt for kids so this goes right in line with my best practices where i'm telling you what etsy also agrees with is that playful pink monster truck t-shirt for kids what it is who it's for those are the number one and two and then the third one would be for an occasion so like for a kid's birthday or something like that if you wanted to add it there right so if we were to say now make it with hearts instead of Look at that. It looks amazing. And you can easily get rid of this background. It would be perfect on a kid's, you know, fourth or fifth birthday shirt, right? My sister would have loved a pink monster truck shirt back in the day, but she was also heavily into watching, you know, smash up derbies. And now if we wanted to do something more, maybe with the T-Rex in the monster truck, so we could go add a T-Rex. And here we go. How cute is that? And scroll down here we can also regenerate and this is how easy it is folks and now you've got a cute dinosaur riding in the back of a pink monster truck with hearts all over it i'm going to ask it to make the dino driving the truck and give it sunglasses and we'll see what happens here there we go not quite driving but you get the picture it's got the sunglasses on and everything and it looks super cute this could even work great for valentine's day you wrecked my heart or you wrecked t-wrecked my heart yeah <laughs> something like that or you've t-wrecked me for anybody else different fun sayings and now we can go into the regular chat gpt and start a new chat here and say give me funny valentine's day sayings for t-shirts that would go with an image of a cute cartoon dinosaur in a pink monster truck and we'll see what chat gpt says here rar means i love you in dinosaur how awesome is that so we're totally combining like the valentine's day niche the seasonal thing with the monster truck and the dinosaur right so this is great wow this is a gold mine right here two t rexy for my shirt rar means i love you in dinosaur these are great. <laughs> the Lobosaurus is here. These are just endless, right? So if we wanted to go back to POD Buddy here and start a new one, because I also mentioned like, you know, doing things for retirees because people retire every day. So what do people like to do when they retire? They like to sit on a beach as I'm staring out of the ocean across the breezeway there. So let's say retired man sitting on a beach with a cold drink. This is great. I'm going to refresh this and see what happens. There we go. We can also say, what else we got on the beach here? Like pirates. Pirate on a beach drinking route. Getting, keeping that tropical vibe that is supposed to be big this year and kind of coupling it with the tropical essence of the beaches and that sort of thing. This is awesome. So now let's figure out what we can put for words to go with this shirt. So I'll go back to chat GPT here. Give me some funny sayings to go on a t-shirt for someone who just retired. The artwork is a pirate on a beach drinking route. So here are some humorous sayings that could fit well on a t-shirt for someone who has just retired, complimenting the artwork of a pirate on a beach drinking route. Retirement, more time for rum and sun. That's another shirt on its own, rum and sun, right? Ahoy. You could even do, I'm thinking right now, like the way you're looking at it is R, then a big U, M, and then S, and then you still use the same U and N, right? So in the middle of the U, you could have an M percent, so it's a rum, sod. Look at that. Ideas are everywhere, and that's how easy it is. Oh, yeah, I found my treasure. Permanent vacation. These are great. I used to be a working stiff. Now I'm just a beach bop. Retired life. Pirates have it right. Work is overrated. Rum isn't. From nine to five to high tide and good vibes. Pirate mode activated. Responsibilities deactivated. And you can follow up with retired at the year, right? So that's the personalization element now is you can add the year on it. Let's go 10 more but shorter. Rum's up. Siesta time. See, siesta is great. Retired and rum ready. Pirate's pension. Those are great. Anchored in retirement. No alarm clocks. Treasure found. Sail away from work, retirement ahoy, island time finally. So these are great. So my next video, I'm going to show you how to leverage some of the designs we just made and also implement the element of personalization. Like I said, it's going to be a game changer for 24 and using Hello Custom, you're going to be able to automate the personalization so you don't actually have to type in anything. Like if we want to do the custom year on the retired shirts or add a name to the birthday shirts, you're not going to actually have to manually type any of that in. It syncs with Printify, it syncs with Etsy and takes all of the manual labor out of the equation entirely. So make sure you like and subscribe and stick around so you can see that one when it drops and if you're struggling for what to put into the search bar or don't know you know what kind of aesthetics to implement you can check out this video here you're gonna love it we'll see you in the next one